Hello everyone, welcome to some more From the Depth tutorials. Right now we are looking at a multi-purpose laser. So, let's start with the easy things of lasers. You need a laser combiner and some laser optics and some laser steering optics and now all you need is to set some pumps on there and you have an offensive laser it's really not that hard there's not a lot of barrels to look at there's not a lot of ammo to customize however lasers have their own quirk you really have to make sure that you have the, the right pumps etc so we have laser cavities over here laser pumps frequency doublers and laser destabilize these are basically your ammo boxes of lasers etc you've also got the laser coupler which is a very important allows you to turn the, a continuous wave laser into pulsed lasers which basically means instead of firing one beam that goes on forever you have multiple short beams and what I am placing right now are called Q switches and basically each Q switch allows you to fire two pulse lasers per second so we fire eight lasers per second now which is good but it's still not got any damage as you can see we've got zero damage on both the continuous wave laser and the pulse laser damage there's also things like the laser missile defense, the laser transceiver, laser connector which is basically just a six way connector for lasers not that hard, we have the laser colorer needs to be put on here I believe and then you can change the color, change the size oh, it needs to be connected to a connector but yeah, then you can have like red lasers for your anti-aircraft and green lasers to hit enemy ships, etc. Or you can have different for each ship so that you can differentiate what is firing and what, etc. But let's first take a look at laser missile defenses instead of an offensive laser. So you only need to connect these up to a laser multi-purpose here. And I'm not 100% sure why this one claims to be disconnected let's get some laser connectors on there in that case there we go, now you're connected basically you only need one of these but the more you have the more they can fire etc now let's get some laser cavities attached to here shall we and then add mirror mode, we're gonna put some pumps down you can attach them to every side, so keep that in mind as you go along. Each pump draws 50 energy from your engine to charge the laser up. And now you can see in the laser coupler here we have a beam zero with 600 energy. And then we can take a look at the pulse laser, which has 30 damage, 1 armor piercing and approximately 170 range. Which isn't bad, but we need more damage. because. To kill a missile in one hit you need 100 damage and 3 armor piercing. Which brings us to the frequency doubler. Now we have 3 armor piercing. And then we can use the laser destabilizer to get the damage up as well as range. Now keep in mind that there is a certain ratio between laser destabilizers and laser cavities. I will put a link in the description below and if I remember then I will also put an annotation up right now on the screen because basically let me quickly take a look for a second there's a website the from the depths gamepedia that has a lovely set of graphs on there for the amount of Q switches and the amount of stabilizers and cavities and pumps etc that you want to use also with laser energy usage etc so if you look at that that will help you to be uh, that will allow you to tune your laser better and be more efficient so that's a nice little tool but right now we have 103.32 damage three uh, three armor piercing and approximately a thousand meters range so let's put that baby to the test. We're gonna spawn in a simple missile boat. That's gonna fire two missiles at us. Oh, I I just He 
See, it's not actually firing yet, because we forgot one crucial component. Let's quickly go over here. We're going to add an AI mainframe, because just like the um, Life Center, you need laser warners. Uh, no, not laser warners. Derp. Missile warners. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. And now you can see them firing. Eight pulses per second. Jesus, there we go. And because we have multiple of these, we can have multiple lasers firing per second. Which is all well and good. All you really need is missile warning systems. With a line of sight. And then your lasers will start targeting the enemy missiles. Which is great. And basically it doesn't matter what kind of missiles they have. They all have 100 hit points and 1 armor. So that's why you want three armor piercing on your on your anti-missile laser and like 100 damage. There we go. Now let's get to the meat of this. Let's talk about proper offensive lasers. So let's put back a laser combiner on here, which is basically the advanced firing piece for the lasers and then the multi-purpose laser is pretty much your autoloader I guess you have to connect all these up to charge it etc but let's get some laser optics in place what the point of these laser optics are is they make your laser more accurate and then you have the laser steering optics which give you a wider field of fire for example if we are to there we go you can see we can aim all the way up now because it goes through the laser steering optics over here and if we remove those we suddenly get a very narrow field of fire here we can also do the same in reverse for the laser optics if we just put a bunch of laser steering optics on here so we have to feel the fire there we go See the lasers jutting all over the place. Why? Because it's not very accurate right now. That is, in about a minute, the importance of both laser steering optics as well as laser optics themselves. Now we have a decently accurate laser, and they, it has quite a field of fire as well, which is good. Especially for static lasers. It doesn't really matter that much for turreted lasers. And you can actually put them in a turret, which is great. I'll actually demonstrate that to you right now. If we put down a one axis turret over here. And then get a laser multipurpose down here. And then get laser connector and a laser transceiver. Which will also allow me to show the transceivers off. Right, so below here we don't actually have any lasers and we don't want to go putting it on the turret. That would make for a huge turret that we just cannot work with. So what instead we're going to do is we're going to place it down here. With a laser transceiver. Which should be connected. But it's not, for reasons. Connect physically to connectors or a multi-purpose laser or other transceivers. Yeah, so why are you not... I mean, this one is connected. Do we need another multi-purpose laser? 963. Yeah, those IDs are not matching right now. Hang on, let's see if it works over here for some reason. Uh, no, I'll be right back when I have this working. Okay, there we go. So, they don't actually have to be in a straight line, which is what I found out recently. So, as long as you have the transceiver directly below the turret, it will feed into this laser transceiver. Otherwise, you need them to be in a straight line on the hull. But that basically allows you to stuff away the big chunk of laser that you're probably going to get. And then you could just focus on having a small turret up here. And this can do all the PUs. Good. Yeah, that is basically turreted a uh, laser laser turrets in a nutshell. Jeez, words. But let's get back to the actual laser itself. Now that we demonstrated the transceivers, laser missile defense, 
it's time to get... Well... I don't really think there is much to cover left, actually. Like, we did... We covered most of the basics. We showed how to increase laser damage. We showed the... How to increase armor piercing. We showed how to increase damage and range. I mean, I can spawn in one of my other ships, I guess. Yeah, we'll load this in. I worked on this earlier in the morning. Very early in the morning. Got a laser turret. And it's quite good, although it's now an enemy of ours. So it's gonna be killing us. However, we can compensate for that by adding in a friendly one. Yeah, so basically this is... Look at that damage. We Every shot we are firing, we are tearing out one chunk of it. It does a lot of damage. It's still accurate at 3,000 meters, which is what I primarily designed it for. And you can see down here, if I quickly go here. We've got a lot of frequency doublers, so we have like 30 armor piercing. Which actually allows it to fire through multiple blocks, provided you have enough damage. Got a lot of pumps in here. A lot of engines and some more cavities as well as a lot of destabilizers this isn't quite the optimal way yet because I forgot about the graph for a minute but you can see in here before I knew that the actual transceiver didn't have to be right on top I just had it like literally on top there one small thing of note you can actually have laser an offensive laser and missile defense fire at the same time it's not very efficient, but it's a possibility. But anyway, I hope that you learned something from this laser tutorial. If you did, then do let me know down below. It would make my day to know that you learned something from my rambling here today. And if you enjoyed the tutorial, then why not leave a like down below? Anyway, until next time, have a good one, folks.